Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here. Well, got home today. It's Friday. And uh, actually this week, me and Grandma started talking, like Monday, about what we was going to cook for the weekend. Ain't that terrible? But uh, we got a couple of dishes we was wanting to try. I'm trying to follow evidently. Uh, tonight I'm going to make, uh, Nomad's Mexican lasagna. Our oven's turned on. Grandma had been, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, okay, it was start. Electronics. We talk about what we're going to fix and Grandma's been going to the shopping before I get home, which I appreciate. She knows I hate Walmart. She don't like going shopping, but she'd rather go shopping than listen to me bitch and carry on about Walmart. Alright, uh... I'm going to start with my onion. Y'all already know Grandma's not a big fan of onion. So uh, I always start with my onion first to get it cooking. And does she have a towel out? No, nope. let me grab a clean hand towel. So, uh, as I was saying, you know Grandma ain't a big fan of hard, crunchy, raw chick uh, onion, so I always start it first. Last time I did this, I showed you how to slow cook it, sweat it. Being it's Friday and I got in a little bit later, I am going to cook it a little bit faster. Our main thing is that it gets done. So, ah. so I'm going to get this started, splash a little olive oil in the skillet, and get it going. So, ain't no need in y'all watching me do that again. Y'all know how to cut up onions. I'm about to say a bad word. This one ain't. Want to come off that outer layer where the dead gum. There it comes. Thank you. Alright, so I'll be back. Alright, I have uh, started my hamburger meat cooking as you can see. Uh, Grandma's going through our thing of uh, seasonings over here and shaking her head at me. I shouldn't mention her, I guess. I tell you what, folks, she's so damn camera shy, it's pitiful. Uh, we have another meal that we're going to be cooking later on, not tonight, but this weekend. And, uh, while we was talking about it Monday, she started going through some of our seasonings to see what we needed to buy and what we had. Somewhere along the way, we have picked up some slow cooker seasoning packs. Hold one of them in front of the camera, Grandma. And uh, we had never used them before. So we're curious about them. Which ones do you want me to hold in front of them? Well, just, it don't matter. Just want them for the slow cookers. So, uh, a meal Little Joe had came up with, and he tried it the other night, but he did his in his pressure cooker. And we've got pressure cooker, electric one, but we'd rather do it in a slow cooker. 
So this is where the experimenting can be a good thing. Just hold them up there. There you go. They can see that. Okay. Is Grumpy still down or what? You know what he's barking about? I might have to put him out. Uh. <coughs> but anyway, he did his in his uh, pressure cooker. We're going to try ours in the crock pot. I don't know what day. Uh, we're going to make it stew another day. And we had talked about these uh, uh, seasoning packs that we had got. So we just want to play with them a little bit and we will probably try them out instead of some of the seasoning he was talking about. And it, it's one of them deals where it either turned out, wow, that was good, or, oh man, we have to eat this? And it happens. So, but one of them she has in there is a crock pot slow cooker chicken. And that happens to be what we're going to try doing is a, another... Well, I don't know why, but it's going to be a Mexican dish, so to speak, have a Mexican tendency. So we'll have a little accent to it, is what I'm saying. And it ain't that we're on a Mexican kick or anything, it's just that these are the recipes that have came across to us, just like this one I'm doing here. After uh, I did it, I was uh, the taco bake. I had talked to uh, Nomad, and he started telling me about somebody that made this dish. And it sounded very interesting. It's going to be a whole lot like the take taco bake. It really is. Did a little bit different play on it, but not a lot different. And I was like, huh, that sounds interesting. I want to try it. And Little Joe called the other night. We was on a conference call between me, him, and Grandma and his wife. And uh, he had some chicken he was wanting to use up. And somewhere along the line, we had swapped. We, me and him's always swapping recipes that we find. And then we'll talk about them and we'll try them and put our own spin on them. And somewhere I had sent him one about cooking chicken with picante sauce. And he was wanting to give that a try. I couldn't really remember the recipe, but we got talking about it while they was walking around in the grocery store. And he does what Little Joe always does. He Googled it. And he found a recipe, and he almost followed the recipe. He's a lot like his daddy. He don't just follow recipes. He does not follow directions well. So, uh, so he did his his way, and it turned out pretty good, he said. And uh, me and Grandma talked about it, and we wanted to cook it, but we wanted to do it, put our twist on it. And one of our twists is going to be, what is this one? This is sweet chicken. and smoky pulled chicken. I don't want to use that one. Fiesta chicken. Now, do we have two of any of these, Mama? No, do we have two of any of the... Any of the chicken slow cooker things? So these are the two we have. Huh. Well, we'll have to debate on what we're going to do there. Well, we might use one of these in a taco seasoning. Right. That's little Joseph. But he said like two tablespoons of taco seasoning. Right. Um, um, now, we'll have to debate on what we're going to do there if we even try them. You know, with them being single packs, that wouldn't be all bad for you uh, doing just a little bit of chicken in a crock pot for you while I'm gone. A slow cooker. You know what I mean? 
So anyway, I'm going to finish browning this up. We don't know exactly what we're going to do on that other milk. We will discuss it. And when it's time to cook it, we'll figure something out. Uh, all I'm going to do on this one, is here in a little bit, I'm going to add two cans of my Rotella. Grandma got me diced tomatoes with green chilies. No, we don't do the fresh jalapenos in them. Neither one of us like that. And just some generic oops, uh, taco seasoning. So, uh, that's what we're going to do here. That gun, my eyes get me. Alright, I'll bring you back in a few minutes. Alright, not live, but I'm going to start recording again. Alright, folks, I got my meat ground. I'm adding my uh, two cans of Rotella. The oven is plenty warm. Uh, now also, something y'all got to think about. I had somebody comment the other night that they had tried that taco bake. And uh, I asked them what they thought of it, and they liked the taste of it. But uh, they said they thought it would have been more crunchy than what it was. And uh, I told them that that's why these recipes are made to be modified. For that individual, they needed to use more of the chips or use a Frito. A Frito was a, a lot crunchier. And to cut back on the amount of juice that they put in. So when I was spooning it in, I wanted the juice to go in there. If they're wanting more crunchy, Mama, I'm going to need one of these other tomatoes. Uh, then you uh, use a slotted spoon and let it drain a little bit better or a little bit more. So it's all a matter of tweaking it. Uh, where they did it my way that first time, following my recipe, now they know for Next time when they cook their recipe, they, again, they're going to modify it make it their recipe. Which if you ever go to my cooking blog, uh, Cross Country Cooking with Papa Joe, there's a link to it on the about page. I ain't been on there in years, so I haven't done nothing to it. Uh, but at the end of every recipe, I would tell them to have fun with it and to make it, make it their own. Well, and that's what this is. Have fun with it and make it your own. If it sounds good with the way that I did it the first time, or the way I did it, then your first time, try following basically to my recipe. And then pick and choose what you liked and disliked about it and modify it for you. Oh, come on, dead gummit. Thank you. Sometimes the simplest of stuff is a pain in the butt. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit left in that one. And we're notorious about wanting to get all of our stuff out of the cans and packages and whatnot. Uh, normally, those things tell you to add a half a cup of water or whatever. Uh, with the tomatoes and whatnot we have put in here, we have plenty of liquids in here for our powders. Which that is something else that you can do if you're wanting to make something crunchy uh, and cut back on your liquids. Well, then don't use as much liquids in your skillet. Now, I will get mix this up pretty good. Then I'm going to let it set on this burner for just a little while. Let it all blend together. It's just simmer. And let there. some of that juice simmer out of here. So with that, I'm going to let this go for just a little bit. 
and uh, and this is some more of that pork and beef mixture I told you we'd got. This was another pack of it that I grabbed a while it was on sale. Grandma had freezer, put this one in the freezer. Now we're using it. So in yonder, I have uh, Street Outlaws paused. I'm going to go watch it. Grandma's going to help me remember to check this every few minutes. We'll be back. Alright, now it's recording. Alright, I'm fixing to start putting this together. Now folks, you got to remember that uh, Nomad did not have a recipe for this. He ate it at somebody else's house. Someone else had prepared it. Then he made the mistake of telling me about it. And I'm putting my own twist on it. So I don't know how the original people made it. Uh, and I don't know if I can get you all up here any closer or not. Not that you really need to be. Let's see. Not really, without jacking this thing all up here in the back. Yeah, see, and then if my camera wants to fall over, that would be bad. Well, no, you're just going to have to watch from the balcony, the cheap seats. Y'all are in the cheap seats. Let's see. Yeah, you can see it for what it's for. I'll point that light up there a little bit more at it. Alright. So, what he had told me they had did, they had, instead of the uh, noodles that they use for lasagna, they use tortillas. Now that don't fit quite square. It's kind of, how, kind of like putting a round peg in a square hole, right? Uh, I done turned that off just a minute ago. The oven is preheating. Or it already preheated. It's ready to go. It's patiently waiting on me. Now I am going to let some of my juice drain off of here. I don't want it to be sloppy. Sloppy wet, that is. I do want enough for it to get a little bit into the tortillas. But I don't want it to be dripping. That's just my thoughts. And once again, like I said, I don't have the original recipe and I probably wouldn't follow it anyway. Grandma's taught me like that. And I'm joking. I cooked before me and Grandma got together. I've been cooking for ever. Now all I'm trying to do is give me an even layer of meat in here. That tortilla is well covered. Just like so. And yeah, I know you can't see it. But there really ain't that much in there. And then I want to put in our taco blend cheese. Like I said earlier, I don't know how we got on all these Mexican dishes lately, but it is what it is. We will be fixing a stew this week, or this weekend. See, now I went real light on my cheese. Now I'm going to do me another tortilla in there. And yes, I'm going to actually mash it down just a little bit. I was wanting to get three or four layers and I'm not sure that I'm going to. And I guarantee you that this meat that is left over will not go to waste. We will figure out something even if uh, we save it for grandma to do her a taco salad or something. And I have been known to take a taco salad or a salad out on the road with me. 
I just have to make sure I eat it the first day or two. And even draining it like this, I see I'm getting a little bit more juice in here than I really want. But it is what it is. Now let me spread that out a little bit. That ain't all bad. A little more cheese. Yep, hold on. That's a little bit high and I want that down. And right now I am mashing down with my spoon a little bit. I mean, I ain't packing it, packing it, but I don't want it real loose either. And if y'all try any of my dishes, I would appreciate giving us a little feedback on it. Let us know how uh, you liked it, what you didn't like about it, uh, what you think you're going to change on it. And also, just so that you know, I didn't tell you, these tortillas that Grandma got, they're uh, the low-carb tortillas. You can't get low-carb tortillas. All right, this is going to be our last layer, it looks like. So, now I'm going to wind up topping it all off with uh, quite a bit of that cheese. That will be our top crust, so to speak. And I'm not sure what we're going to do for a side dish with this. Uh, Grandma had planned on making some guacamole with it uh, when she got to the store to get her avocados, which she makes her own guacamole. <coughs> <coughs> they didn't have any that she really liked. She got some, but they weren't ripe enough. So they're going to have to sit around a day or two. She eats a lot of it on her diet, avocados and guacamole. Uh, something about the fat in it is a good fat or something, I don't know. But, uh, there ain't going to be that much of this meat left. Looks like there's going to be about enough for Grandma to have one good taco salad out of it. Uh, well, this here is getting a pretty good layer on top. Yeah, I've got that pan pretty much filled up to the top. She's in there fussing with the old man. He got to be contrary in his old age. All right, well, out of that two pounds of meat, now most of that's juice. So there's what she's got. That might make her a couple of taco salads. I don't know. That'd be up to her. We'll let that cool off and it'll go into a uh, bowl for her to have during the week. It is very difficult to cook for one person. So, uh, Mama, you got meat left here for real. Uh, taco salad, but you ain't going to have very much cheese. I'm going to leave you a small handful of this cheese. There ain't no need. There, there ain't no real need in it. I mean, yeah, I'm putting a good layer on top of it. But I think that's plenty. That's enough for you. Yeah, okay. Salad or two, right? Because there's probably enough meat for you to have two salads. There you go. Alright, and uh, I've got the oven preheated to 350. Uh, I'm going to stick this in there for 
20 minutes, 30 minutes. Yeah, something like that. Something like that. You think we need to put on a baking sheet? Probably. Okay. Just in case. Yeah. Oh! All right, folks. We're going to set that on the baking sheet. Then it's going to go in there. Now, if you'll look, you don't see liquids down in that bottle. So I did pretty good on keeping it dry. I see very little liquid in there. I really don't see air pockets or anything like that in there either. So, we set this off the burner. And here's your tortillas. I used like half of them, I think. I forget if I used three or four of them. So you got some tortillas here if you want to do something with that meat toward that or whatever we do for breakfast. Alright folks, once again the uh, Street Outlaws in there is paused. For some reason that we have it set up for recording just the new ones and they recorded a bunch of old ones and half ass but it did I'm gonna go watch the $25 uh, street car uh, $25,000 daily driver that's what I'm watching oh let me set that timer how long you think mama? Yeah, 20 minutes 20 minutes all right it's set on 20 minutes so hopefully I'll be eating in about a half hour we'll be back I'll show you the finished product all right, folks, it's a dinging at us. Been 20 minutes. Let's take a look, see. Oh, if y'all could only see what I see. I'm afraid I might not have used enough cheese is what I'm afraid of. But we'll find out. Oh, dead gum. Where am I gonna set it? Oh, look at the bubble. Gander at that, folks. Now we're gonna let it set and rest a few minutes, and uh, we are going to throw together. I think we decided we're gonna have a little salad with it. So let us throw together salad, let that rest up so when I stand a chance of taking it out in a decent piece, we'll be back with you. All right. As you see on my cutting this, it cut pretty good. You can hear Grandma crunching on her salad. She couldn't wait. She was starving. That tortilla in there, I can feel it cutting through it. And it ain't just sopping wet. is always hard to get out. And there, ladies and gentlemen, is the first piece of it. So that is our Mexican lasagna. Thank you, Nomad. I think it's going to be pretty good. I wind up cutting that one in half for Grandma, and uh, that'll leave me one or two to go if it makes it through the weekend. Y'all, remember, God loves you, and so do we. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you give it a try. 
Y'all have a blessed evening. I'm fixing to eat. Good night.